just before the video starts i would like to shout out the last og for subscribing to the channel if you want to shout out like him subscribe to me and comment it down below or message me in game i also want to say uh to atlas you're golden uh from beck r i also want to send condolences to un13 he's from un13 x crusher x um and i want to tell uh, there's loads of people that cared about him in this lost kingdom and kingdom and outside uh, of that so um i also want to send prayers for his um family and loved ones so anyway on to the actual video now hello and welcome this is waffle 1738 here back with another video and basically in this video it is some fights that were happening after level um four passes becoming unsealed to outside kingdoms so they are open to be attacked by everyone so there was loads of fighting going on obviously but not as much as i was hoping for and thought there would be as loads of people just went back to their home kingdom instead of staying in the lk so in this clip you can see that there are some zero players from kingdom 1415 trying to burn a flag of 16 lv which is from the kingdom 1416 um so shiny legs is the only one here who has troops in this flag and it's looking like it's not going to be enough um so the zero people keep on swarming it and it's looking positive for them at this moment so more join to swarm and it's almost at half health the defending commanders are very strong and there's good buffs and troops inside there um, because the person leading inside there has 40 million power which is more than all these people um, surrounding and swarming the um, uh, flag so you can see here that shiny legs is now porting in and shiny legs starts um, sending more reinforcements into the flag which the swarming zero players will be very annoyed about and they're like oh why couldn't you've just done this quicker but uh, yeah shining legs is there to the rescue and sends troops in so more people join to swarm and more reinforcements will just keep on coming i assume from shining legs so you can see now that all sides have been uh, being attacked from like there's, it's a complete swarm except for one little thing um so there's more reinforcements going in to the flag it's not the troops that are the problem it is the uh, uh marches if um, shiny legs has enough marches for it but uh they have the troops just not the march uh, availability i'm pretty sure so you can see that one of their armies is going out now it's gonna um they're gonna keep on refreshing their troops which is a smart idea uh soon i'm pretty sure another army will be hopping into the flag uh, to boost the health up so it looks like they've really nearly done it and i'm not sure if they oh no because there's more reinforcements and that must be very annoying for them it's almost like uh, they're taunting them because they let it get really low and then they're just sending in some more troops so you can see that like it's already sent a few people home and it's taking a lot of deads for the swarmers but i assume there'll be lots of deads and severely wounded in the flag as well they only take half deads and half severely wounded but when you're attacking it you uh, take fully deads so there'll be more deads on zero side but 100 percent there'll probably be more power loss as well you can see that shiny legs one of his armies was sent home and they've sent another one in so if this keeps on going it's gonna be never ending unless mr boo comes along or something like that but i don't think shiny legs has any more troops to spare so they are going to be able to destroy the flag not destroy it but start it burning but they can easily stop it from burning again so yeah you can see that all their armies were sent home 
So on another side of the map, there is Lux C here from Kingdom 1411 uh, in battle with uh, Crocodile. Well, I don't know what that is. Arrow pointing right, that's W, which is a German alliance from Kingdom 1409. You can see here that they're putting up a real fight for Luxy, and I do congratulate them for that. They, there's some great battling here that I watched and recorded, so yeah, I thought it was just really entertaining. Because SW, I haven't actually seen them much in the uh, zone, other zones, I'm not sure um, what happened there. I only saw uh, DK09 and slash slash H really from this kingdom. But SW look like real good fighters, um, and they've done a real good job here. So you can see Farminator is being swarmed by um, four armies. He's about to send one home though. It's two on four, and it will soon turn to as two on three. And there, it's pay to farm v him because they're all armies from the same person. But um, Farminator decides to return. Oh, just keeps one of his armies out to take damage. So you can see that Chevron, oh no, Sharon 88 is being swarmed by uh, multiple armies and is going to take quite a lot of damage, as you can see. Sharon is a T5 player, so I'm not sure why there's, being, there's T4 being used instead of T5. He might have like had it healing or something, I don't know. Or wanted to take less loss losses, so that'd be a good shout. So you can see pay to farm here. With three of our armies. It's basically Farminator V uh pay to farm except Opano. Opano is also fighting and 14N is also fighting in that section. More reinforcements for Luxy keep on flooding through, but also there's more reinforcements for SW flooding through, so it's very equally matched. Luxy decide to return to their side and meet up with the reinforcements coming through the pass. Uh, Opun, Opun Pano is marching to join the battle and he help his teammates and support his other army that is there. More reinforcements from both sides just keep on flooding through. Um, Luxy have outnumbered SW on this field, so they are managing to push them back to their cities. More armies jump out cities to join the mosh pit, but also more are running home, keeping the number the same. So, you can see just the damage that is being done here. There's a lot of multiple armies fighting from pay to farm and um, also uh, oh farminator. Sorry about that. So there's a Luxy two Lux one Luxy T4 oh T5 army marching there anyway. So this is the next clip. As you can see, it switched to daytime here. Um, SWV. Uh, like C, obviously, still the same. People just keep on jumping out their cities to join the fight. It's harder for Luxy because they don't know where or when they're going to be attacked, when, like, or where they're going to be attacked from. Because there's so many cities that they can just jump out and jump through. Whereas Luxy are much more open, and if they're taking a lot of damage, they can't jump back in cities, they just have to run away which is not really going to work unless there's more reinforcements that are waiting to meet them uh, that can help them fight back and so they can take less losses but on with that being said Luxy are fighting very very well but so are SW there's some great participation from both sides and it's a shame this war didn't last longer, as this was very interesting. I would say it's one of the most interesting I've watched this whole KVK. So, Fominator is a very big fighter, and I just wanted to check his kills because he's done a lot. I've seen him so much. 
so I do want to like shout out him for doing a lot. But I also want to shout out everyone in this Lost Kingdom for doing what they're doing. Like, I love every single one of them. So yeah, it's amazing. So this KVK has been amazing, really. Luxy reinforcements flood through the pass, um, outmatching the SW reinforcements. Uh, they also have a lot more T5. Uh, SW is very heavily T4. I don't think there are any T5 players based in that alliance. They have a lot of T5, not a lot, but multiple T5 players in that kingdom. And it is a strong kingdom. I think it's a very well distributed kingdom throughout alliances. That's something that I, I think is a very nice kingdom to be in though, honestly. I don't know why I tapped on that, sorry about that. And Luxy are pushing SW back to their complete borders, uh, taking them back to their cities. So when one person returns to a city, it just drags a mosh pit along with it because everyone's targeting everyone, making everyone move along, which is quite funny to watch really. I, I find it entertaining. So Luxy are just outnumbering them by too much and more reinforcements keep on flooding through the pass. And SW can't really keep up with it. They've only got a few people up here on camera. Uh, there's a few spaces where there's no people ported in from SW. That might be because someone was ported in there um, previously and ported out recently so no one else has actually taken the spot in that small amount of time so they just keep on jumping out and in their cities so they attack the weak armies then if the strong armies come they just hide again which is a smart tactic and i would use it except everyone's stronger than me so there's no weak armies to me <laughs> so Luxy have managed to push SW very far back. Um, there's a lot of armies just flooding to the south of their territory. And some others in the north stopping any advancements towards the pass and trying to stop any reinforcements going through the cities. So you can see Opun Pano is really fighting here. And so is Farminator, and their armies are taking a lot of losses as they are getting attacked by multiple Luxy armies and they are outnumbered by a lot. But they are doing very well despite it. So you can see Opano's got two armies down here, uh, taking out um, an 80 million players army. But one of his reinforcements, which is, I'm pretty sure T5 comes in to help. But he does decide to back off and uh, he backs off to the reinforcements of Luxy and it's a very smart idea and that's what he's done so more people will start to attack Opan and Pano because he is closer to the horde Farminator is being attacked and he's getting a lot of damage minus 6,000 uh, that's without all the power-ups that will be going onto him and there are some very strong players that are attacking him some of them T5 so he's going to take a lot of T4 losses there let's hope he has the resources and speed-ups to, uh, to just like heal his troops and keep on fighting anyway thank you for watching this video uh, I don't know if there'll be any more KVK fighting videos it depends if there's more fights or like if there's resistance from kingdoms. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please do leave a like on the video and subscribe to me. It would mean a lot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.